Hello traders, welcome to Quantsap. In this session, we are going to understand the new quant indicator. Now, most of you are having queries that, you know, we are understanding the buyer and seller initiated quantity, but how can we use the other quant indicators provided by Quantsap? So this session is for you. You can understand how you can use a new quant indicator and take confirmation and take good trades accordingly on the intraday basis. So if you are new here in Quantsap, do subscribe our channel and you can sign up to Quantsap and you can unlock 20 plus free tools which will help you in your options trading journey. Now, if you want to understand what Quantsap is providing, what kind of strategies and tools we are having, you can come here in the learn section and you can go in the video library and you can check out the multiple tools and videos of how you can use Quantsap and do the options trading. Now further, if you're having any doubts and queries, you can come here at the support section. Okay, you can write us, you can WhatsApp us and we'll try to help you out in the same. Okay, now let's move on to the topic and let us just understand what is the new order VWAP. Okay, so just a second. Yeah. So, the new quant indicator what we understand what we need to understand today is is the new order vwap okay now as the name suggests you are seeing the data of the new orders okay so in the new orders as we can include the buyer and seller initiated quantity both so what we're going to use is that we need to use the buyer and seller initiated quantity. Okay. So we're going to use the buyer and seller initiated quantity. And with that, you can take the idea of how the new orders are affecting the VWAP. Okay. So what is VWAP again? VWAP is the volume weighted average price okay so we are identifying the volume weighted average price with the help of the new orders which are going on in the live market okay so what you're gonna identify here is that let's just suppose we are seeing the seller quantity is increasing okay the seller quantity is increasing okay so if the seller quantity is increasing, is the price going down with this volume, with, with the new volume by the seller side, is the particular volume weighted average price going on the downward side or is it, such, is it going on the upper side? We need to identify this to make a decision or a smart trade. Okay, so what you're going to do here is that simply if you're seeing the seller initiated quantity is increasing, you need the new order VWAP to go below zero. Okay. So if you are seeing the seller initiated quantity is going increasing, we are seeing good seller quantity comparison to buyer and if the VWAP is going below zero level. So that is indicating you that somewhere that the price will go downward side or we'll see a little bearish movement in the trade. Okay. Now with that, let's just suppose we are seeing the buyer initiated quantity is increasing. Okay, now the buyers are entering. So if the buyers are entering, what you need to identify is the weighted average price going upper side or is it going on the downward side to make a decision trade. So it should, the new order VWAP here, when the buyer is adding, you it should be above zero. So that will indicate or that will help us identify a good trade on the bullish side. So this way you can use the new VWAP average price and you can identify if the price or if the momentum will go on the upper side or on the downside. Now with that, you can square off or you can make exits also with the help of the new order VWAP. How? So let's just suppose now we were taking trade on the basis that the weighted average price is going downwards when the seller quantity is initiated. Okay. So let's just suppose the price went down. Okay, but now the price if it's retracing on the upper side, okay, and there must be a reversal. So you can square off here when when the price is crossing above zero. Okay, so when it's below zero, you enter. Okay, and when it is going above zero, 
you exit okay so when it's below zero you make an entry as a seller okay so this is the bearish conditions okay i'll just so bearish conditions entry you will make oh sorry your entry point will be when the seller initiated quantity is increasing and the vwap new order vwap is below zero so this is your conditions for entry and your condition for exit okay so your conditions for exit is simply when the new order vwap okay i'll just keep it into a short form new order vwap okay so whenever the new order vwap is crossing above zero okay so this is the point where you will exit on the bearish conditions now similarly in the bullish conditions if we are talking so in bullish conditions what you need is that the buyer initiated quantity should increase should go up and with that the new order vwap should be above zero so this will be your conditions for a bullish trade and uh, this will be your entry point and your exit will be when the new order vwap is crossing below zero now okay so simply you can identify when you can enter when you can exit and in what conditions what kind of trades you can take you can simply identify with the help of this particular setup sorry just a second so you can simply identify when you can take entries when you can take uh, entries in the bullish condition when you can take entries in the bearish condition and when you take the exit with the help of this quant indicator and again buyer and seller initiated quantity also play an important role in the same okay so let us just put it in the charts and understand how you can identify it so if i just go on the charts so now we have opened quants app and we have gone to the charts as you can see i have already added the indicators you can see the buyer and seller initiated quantity here and the new order vwap and this is nifty's we'll just change the time frame to a little higher time frame to identify such good trades okay so we'll, we have kept it to 5 minute time frame and now we'll just uh, try to identify when we can find good trades on the bearish side and good trades on the bullish side so you can see simply if we talk about buyer initiated quantity i believe uh, yeah so you can see good quantity is being starting to increase from this level okay so what you can do is simply you need to see that firstly the vwap here okay so in vwap i have marked this zero level okay so you can also create a line at the zero level and whenever it is at zero level you can simply see that whenever it is crossing the zero level and you are seeing good buy initiated quantity you can initiate the trade and whenever after that it goes in the negative side you can square it off okay so simply you can initiate trades accordingly like this okay so what you can see here that we are seeing the seller initiated quantity is increasing okay so you are seeing here just a second yeah so you can see the seller initiated quantity has increased all of a sudden okay so what you are do going to see here okay i'll just uh, zoom in a little so it would be more clear to you okay right so you can see that we are seeing the seller initiated quantity increasing here okay if i put the cursor here you can identify here so you can see the seller initiated quantity is increasing we are seeing 20 uh, 2 lakh 8000 sellers here and we are seeing only 1 lakh 20000 buyers okay so we are seeing that the sellers are being aggressive here 
Okay, so simply what you're gonna do is you can check out the VWAP here. As you can see, the VWAP is negative. Okay, so as I said that you are seeing good seller quantity. Okay, so seller initiated is increasing here. Okay, so seller initiated is increasing. With that, you are seeing VWAP. VWAP is also below zero. So these conditions are indicating you for a bearish trade. So simply even if you had initiated a bearish trade here, okay, eventually you could have gotten a momentum on the downward side eventually, right? So from almost around 24,200, uh, okay, from 24,200, you could have gotten a trade for almost around 24,000. So 200 points in the intraday basis you could have taken with the help of this uh, tool. Now, when do you exit? Okay, so when will you exit? is whenever we are seeing the VWAP coming back to the positive side, okay? So as you can see the whole day when it went below zero, I believe we are seeing that it never came above. So until and unless it is coming above the VWAP, we are still continuing with our trade, okay? So you can hold it also overnight, okay? So as you can see that when on the next day, you are seeing that the VWAP Okay, here you can see the VWAP, uh, obviously at the day closing, you can square it off if you are on an intraday basis. But again, see when you open, op at the opening, if you see, opening we are seeing the VWAP was in negative, but here, somewhere at this level, in this particular candle at 920 only, we are seeing the, I believe the VWAP has become positive. Okay, so here you could have squared off or obviously at the day end, you could have squared it off. Okay, again, if we take a comparison of the buyer initiated quantity, okay. So you can see that after this, on the next day, what we are seeing is, on the next day, we are seeing that the buyer initiated quantity is being increased. Okay. So we are seeing that on the next day, we are seeing good buyer initiated quantity. So what we are going to do here is that simply first we'll select a particular candle. Okay. So the first candle, which where we are seeing good buyer initiated quantity. Okay. So, so now in this candle, you are seeing the buyer initiated quantity is increasing. Okay, the buyer initiated quantity is increasing and with that you can see the VWAP is also positive. Okay, so you can initiate the trade at the high of this candle. Okay, you can keep the stop loss as the swing low and as you can see, you can take the momentum. Okay, until and unless it goes in the negative. I believe somewhere here it might have gone to negative so you could have squared it off here. Okay, or else simply you could have holded it until it gone here and as you can see, if we just check out. Okay, so if we just check out that it was positive here, it was all, always it was positive only, okay. So until and unless we are not having a negative indication, okay, until and unless it is not going on the negative side, we can hold it. So by till the end of the day, you could have holded this trade, okay. So here you could have initiated your trade, here you could have initiated your trade and you could have hold it till the end of the day or you could have booked it at any high with the help of this new indicator. So I hope you got the concept. Thank you so much guys for watching. Now, if you have any doubts or queries, you can drop it in the comments and do like, share and subscribe for more such videos.